Hey, welcome everyone to uh, API Days Australia 2021. Um, who would have thought uh, exactly a year ago when we did our first virtual live API Days, who would have thought we'd all still be in lockdown, but well, here we are again. Anyway, I hope that uh, today and tomorrow we can uh, take some of the uh, s some of the, the the routine out of your day and um, all collaborate together online and learn about API days and, and teach about a a APRs. Um, so welcome again, everybody. Um, I want to first start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the country throughout Australia, uh, where we all work and live and their continuing connection to the land, sea, and community. Uh, I pay my respects to them, to their cultures, and to their elders past and present. So um, with, the, um, with the start now of API days, um, I'm thinking back to when we started in uh, 2015, I think it is. So this is our seventh edition now, how time flies when you're having fun. Um, and the the time when we reached out to uh, Mehdi Majawi, who is the founder of API Days. And I want to now introduce Mehdi to you, who's going to talk to us a bit about the API Days series of conferences. Uh, thank you, Mehdi. Thank you very much, Sol, and thank you, uh, you all, for attending. Uh, we will have a two uh, days of talking about APIs, and, and I'm here to, uh, to tell you a little bit more about uh, the Global API Day series, uh, and before handing back to uh, Sol, where that will be able to, who will be able to explain to you exactly what will be about for API Days Australia. Uh, the, the role of uh, API Days conferences is really to connect the humans behind APIs. We used to do it physically in live events. <laughs> we, uh, During the current situation, we still continue our mission to do it, uh, but now it's online. Uh, waiting for next year, that we hope we will be able to see at least some hybrid events or maybe fully phys physical again. Uh, APIs are interfaces connecting uh, applications together Conferences uh, like API Days connect the human behind these interfaces. So we still we hope we still deliver your mission and thank you for being part of the event today. Uh, API Days is a series of events. We have events in different regions of the world. Uh, now it's time for API Days Australia. But if you are uh, you have some colleagues or you know some people in other areas of the world, please know that we have other uh, events in different uh, places where they can either attend, speak, or uh, participate. And we have our online event every year, API Days Interface in June, which is a global year uh, uh, event uh, um, uh, in three time zones. Uh, so in, in numbers, it's more than 60 events. Uh, almost all the sponsors of the industries have supported it at API Days at some point. It's 50,000 past attendees. It's, uh, it represents uh, 14 countries and more than 2,000 speakers. So all the influencers at least have spoken uh, once at API Days, and we will hear uh, a lot of them uh, uh, in the next two days. That represents an online community of 300,000 members to our newsletter or, uh, or, or a direct uh, community. So for the event for the next two days, you can make some noise. Uh, I know it's not the same in, like in a physical place, but you can uh, use the hashtag API is Australia or quote us at API is Global. We will be uh, uh, glad to retweet you or quote, uh, quote you in our in our tweet about uh, the content. API is not just a series of conferences. It's, we do events, but we do also we help uh, big companies with uh, reaching consultant in the community, hiring API practitioners. We do research papers on banking industry, healthcare industry, government APIs. Uh, we help us organize classes, trainings about APIs, and we produce content in different aspects. So uh, whatever you're interested in APIs, we can probably help you. I just want to talk about three initiatives that are really important for us. The first one is women in APIs. We know that we don't have enough gender diversity in the tech community in general. This is why we drafted a specific program where uh, confirmed female speakers can teach, coach, and train other uh, female speakers uh, um, who wants to be, to speak at conferences? It's a it's a free program. It's open. So if you 
feel yourself a female that that wants to be uh, coached into uh, public speaking or you know a female that deserve to speak uh, um, at conferences please refer this program to uh, to her uh, the second initiative I want to talk about is the Sustainable Digital Challenge we, we handle every year. Uh, it's how uh, big companies and even startups can completely refactor them, their infrastructure according to eco-design principles on UX, code, architecture, and even hardware. Uh, so you can go on, uh, on apidays.co, uh, our website, to register your team and be able to participate in that challenge. This challenge is free. It's a three months program based on four workshops with a mentor that help you over uh, the three months to uh, to uh, apply eco design principles to your application. And some outstanding results have been made by previous projects. Last but not least, it's our media content platform, apicin.io. So this is where a lot of speakers actually uh, publish uh, an article based on their talk story. Uh, where actually a lot of the community go read API stories. Uh, so if you are want to write about APIs, get visibility for your content, or if you want to learn about the latest API uh, uh, articles, you can go on apicene.io uh, for to discover that content. That was for me about the API Global Service. Now it's time to handle back uh, to uh, to Seoul to tell us more about what will happen in the specific API Days Live Australia conference he drafted for us. Thank you very much, Seoul. Okay, thanks a lot, Mehdi. Um, yeah, that's a pretty impressive community. You've got three hundred thousand plus around the world. That's uh, that's a great effort. Um, so uh, API Days Australia. Um, if you haven't been with us um, before, um, we've used a, a very similar kind of uh, format um, for the last few years. So basically, the conference is split into um, three main streams um, ar uh, based around um, different themes to do with APIs, to do with the business and the technology of APIs. So the strategy stream is more around the, the business aspects of APIs and also very much API case studies. So a lot of um, case studies, people sharing their experiences with API programs, APIs as product, uh, APIs in various different industries, such as financial services. Um, and we've got uh, local um, Australian companies sharing their experience as well as overseas companies. Um, so that's in the strategy stream. The execution stream is more around um, kind of the technical aspects of APIs, technical protocols, community building, developer experience, um, those elements of APIs, um, some elements of security, um, data APIs. And then the platform stream is more around the back end architecture, uh, the, the engine room behind APIs, if you like. And that's where we talk about things like microservices, service meshes, event-driven architecture, uh, et cetera. Uh, as well as those three streams, there's also um, uh, workshops and uh, roundtables which are run by our sponsors, uh, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, and then to top and tail the day, we have uh, keynotes, uh, at the a keynote at the beginning of each day and a lock note at the end of each day. So I want to um, just briefly mention our sponsors, say thank you to our sponsors. Our sponsors are the people who really fund uh, all of the, the work that goes into API Days. And I want you to support our sponsors by participating in the workshops and roundtables. They're all on the agenda for you to look at to see what interesting topics they're going to be talking about, and also to visit them in the partner village. Um, so. Just before I introduce our keynote speaker, I want to talk about also the, the growing community of APIs. And I think you know, APIs are becoming more and more mainstream. We're thinking more and more about these modular ways of building our systems and of doing business. And this article was written just recently in MIT uh, Business Management Review around how companies need to become more modular in their way of thinking. And I find that this is increasingly relevant, that um, companies which are embracing technology are really representing their architecture in the way that they are structured. I guess this is just probably Conway's law um, 
kind of writ large. Okay, so really just my way of saying that APIs are very much more uh, mainstream today and the community is growing. And I think that reflects in the, the interest and the uh, work that we have uh, within API Days Australia, as well as what Medi has just shown with the APIs around the world. Um, 